walking in Robert's Superior Park last Saturday. I saw the neighborhood straight and myself and did say he looks fat today. And he didn't seem to care that I was twice as close as where he usually runs away. And I can swear that he smiled from the top of a small pile of carcasses. The feathers and cheeks seem to speak, bitch, don't you know whose park this is? So I cussed him and he fled. And I tried to find little birds that might be left for dead. But as the findings would show, he was quite the pro with tooth and claw. Twenty feet away, a mother blue jay was sounding out warning calls. I told her that it was too late. And if she wanted little baby, she'd have to go and find a mate. On the ground where it stood, I found a rectangular piece of wood. I looked up at a branch and with a glance I finally understood There was a birdhouse with no floor And a piece of wood to finish nails and nothing more Except a hand-carved inscription providing a name and date 907 Danny Davis and Troop 258 And it shocked me that one could take pride In such tree slung, slung lord craftsmanship and homicide I thought a battle in Cook Scout should have had it done by carpentry. And slapping up a habitat in the hack attack haphazardly. Though I saw these grisly sights, I realized that I had not lost my appetite. I wrote it off as something isolated that I hope didn't happen much. I beat it back across the street and got elbow deep in some Captain Crunch. Eating my troubles away. Drown my sorrows in a cereal bowl most any day.